And making matters worse, a red flag warning remains in effect for the entire state until 8 o'clock tonight. That means because of the warm temperatures, low humidity, high winds, and dry conditions, the chance of fire is very high. WMTW News 8's Jim Keithley explains how one man from Bridgeton found that out the hard way. Jesse Allen's driveway off South Bridgeton Road looks more like a junkyard. Uh, he says he collects this stuff and sells off the scrap metal. And on Friday, he says he got a burning permit, and you can see he started a fire here. But what he didn't know, or what he didn't realize, is that fire never extinguished itself and it spread up into the woods this morning. A fire that could have been a lot worse. But for Jesse Allen, it's a scene he won't soon forget. About 9.55, I heard a couple popping noise. I looked out my bedroom window and I saw my old camper on fire, my truck on fire, and the woods started to catch on fire. Firefighters from eight towns were able to knock down the flames within 45 minutes. There was a lot of fire in the area behind me um, and it was starting to spread up the slope. A lot of tires were involved. There was a pile of tires here. We don't know how many, and those were well involved in the fire. This charred heap is Alan's old camper trailer, barely recognizable. And look at this truck, almost as if a bomb went off. Alan says he got the proper burning permit on Friday and never could have imagined this. It's shocking, but I mean, I didn't expect to have a fire like this happen. I mean, I'm thank God that my house didn't burn down, though, because I mean, I'd probably be homeless, to tell you the truth. A Maine forest ranger was dispatched to the scene and he gave Alan a lecture about fire safety. Because he said when I had the fire the other night, I probably didn't put it quietly out. But like I told him, I didn't see any smoke when I put it out, so I figured it was out. In the last week or so, carelessness has been keeping us in business. People not putting their fires out, not checking with the fire department before striking a match and having a fire. And so now Jesse Allen has to haul all of this debris out of the yard. The forest ranger has charged him with failure to extinguish a fire, and he could be responsible to pay restitution to the fire department for what it costs to put this fire out, and that could be thousands of dollars. In Bridgeton, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.